Modern Warfare 2 has completely changed the way we play Call of Duty. Infinity Ward has changed matchmaking as well as the creative class system as a whole. And there is a completely new dynamic that everybody needs to be aware of before the initial launch. So with all that being said, like on this video is gonna be 400 likes. And if you guys want to stay up to date with any and all news, updates, best class setups, best settings, tips and tricks, anything within Modern Warfare 2, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn those post notifications. Let's get right into it. So first off, we're gonna be taking a look at matchmaking, which is arguably one of the most important components out of any first person shooter, especially Call of Duty. Now, Infinity Ward has made it their priority to go ahead and make sure that casual play is protected. And doing so, they have effectively toned down you heard that correctly. They have toned down skill-based matchmaking. Now, are they gonna remove it by the game's full release? I honestly believe they will, potentially during year two's life cycle. But as you guys can see here, I'm putting a screenshot on the screen right now, matchmaking. We have implemented some changes that aim to reduce lobby disbandment between matches. So you're not gonna be thrown out of the lobby after each match. This is gonna be a very key push at removing skill-based matchmaking in public play. We will look forward to testing this at a large scale and getting feedback. This is gonna be super important when you guys are playing modes like Search and Destroy, Domination, as well as Hardpoint, where things get competitive and you want to at least have, you know, a best two out of three matches, especially if people are mic'd up. Because if you're playing Search and Destroy, people are talking trash, you wanna get a rematch in if you lose, especially if you lose, and if you win, you know, why not go ahead and beat down the enemy players some more? So this is going to be a huge, colossal step in the right direction. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this. I'm telling you guys right now, by the end of this game's life cycle, especially during year one, I can especially see skill-based match begging being removed. And if you guys want some more proof of that, a competitive Call of Duty copy clone x defiant just tweeted out today as well that skill-based matchmaking is being removed from their game in public matches so i think this was definitely a kind of you know jab toward them that's saying hey we might go ahead and do the same thing so competitiveness between games is good i'm all for them going ahead and making tweaks to matchmaking making sure that competitive and casual play is kind of separated here in Modern Warfare 2. Now, speaking of matchmaking and making sure everything is streamlined and smooth, they actually went ahead and changed the camo progressive system as well. And this is gonna tie into how we create class setups because obviously when going for specific camos, you have to use different attachments and different type of gameplay styles to get certain challenges completed. Now, in order, we're gonna be going over all of the mastery camos you can lock here in Modern Warfare. And I do have images of what all these are gonna be looking like. We have gold, we have platinum, we have polyatomic, and then the final mastery camo is going to be Orion. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think of these camos. Personally, I think they look absolutely stunning. I have a feeling that Infinity War went ahead and took a picture and a page out of Treyarch's book because Treyarch typically has beautiful camos, animated camos, camos that pop and actually cover your entire weapon and that's exactly what's going to be happening here in modern warfare and i am super stoked to go ahead and actually unlock these camels because it's been quite some time since i've actually cared about going ahead and unlocking the mastery camo but in this case they actually look pretty dope and the unlock challenges are not weird they're not unordinary and honestly they're not that difficult to go ahead and accomplish let me going over all that right now so as an overview for the camo challenges you can unlock the base camos for all your weapons any weapon can equip a base camo once unlocked via a specific base camo challenge in other words base camos are universally unlocked across all weapons by completing a challenge on the road to a weapon's first mastery camo so that's going to be your first round of camos you get before you get let's say gold camo now, there will be 180, yes, you heard that correctly, 180 unique base camos available at launch with more to be added with each new weapon that comes in post-launch seasons. So there are a bunch of camouflage you can guys can go ahead and unlock 
pick and choose from here in modern warfare to keep things fresh now we're going to transition over to mastery camos these are unlocked for only a specific weapon and have four unique designs gold platinum polyatomic as well as orion the gold camel challenges for each weapon is available once all the base camel challenges are completed. The platinum camel challenges for each weapon is available once the gold is unlocked across a minimum number of weapons in each category. Let's say five or seven. The polyatomic camel challenges for each weapon is available once the platinum camo is unlocked across a minimum of 51 weapons. So pretty much all the guns in the entire game to get polyatomic. And then Orion, the granddaddy mastery camo, is rewarded for unlocking polyatomic across a minimum of 51 weapons. It is also automatically granted on every weapon that earns the Orion camo past its minimum requirement. So this is absolutely badass, and I do like the way they went ahead and implemented the camo system here in Modern Warfare. Each mastery camo is also tied to an additional challenge required for weapon mastery on each weapon which can be done in parallel with the camel challenges journey detailed below. So you can go ahead and unlock multiple camels at the same time, just like we could do it in previous Call of Duties. So overall, they're going ahead and making it kind of like not really an extreme grind, but a two-year grind to go ahead and get camels unlocked. You can get this done relatively quickly because you can do one or two camel challenges at the same time, just like previous Call of Duties, but at the same time, they went ahead and greatly updated the way these camels do look. And in my personal opinion, it's gonna be a step in the right direction. And I'm really happy they went ahead and actually tried this year on the camels and actually made them worthwhile going for. So again, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Do you guys like this new camo system or do you guys do not like this new camo system? I personally think it's definitely a step in the right direction. Now we're gonna transition to the create a class system which they kind of renamed to weapon tuning like you would do to a car because i'm a huge car enthusiast as well so when i see this and hear this create a class tuning it's very very interesting now the system at first looks very confusing but it is actually very easy to go ahead and understand i'm gonna go ahead and throw a video up for you guys you guys and see it in real time how it actually works you can essentially go ahead and tune your weapon and kind of customize it the way you see fit and actually see exactly what's going on before you actually jump into a match and either destroy or get destroyed you can adjust damage fire rate range accuracy recoil mobility as well as handling by going ahead and essentially sliding a wheel depending on how you want to have your weapon operate in multiplayer so if you guys are running gun players you can go ahead and tune your weapon for handling mobility and let's say fire rate but if you guys are somebody that wants to sit back and post up and take people out at range maybe go for some streaks you can go ahead and tune your weapon for damage range as well as recoil and accuracy for that matter you know and vice versa honestly this system is very cool it's very unique you can actually go ahead and see the pros and cons for each attachment you can see their values what they do and honestly depending on the type of player you want to go ahead and you know be here in modern Warfare multiplayer you can make adjustments and fine tune your weapon and class it up so it is actually going ahead and working in your favor you can also go ahead and tune recoil stabilization as well as aim down sight speed which is quite ridiculous so we're going to be seeing a lot of quote-unquote overpowered attachments overpowered class setups here in modern warfare 2 it's not going to be you know knock on wood it's not going to be vanguard level overpowered where things are killing in one to two bullets but you're going to be able to go ahead and tune your setup based on how you actually want the weapon to perform and i think this is going to be a very good method on how to you know fine tune the credit class system and make it easier for your average player to go ahead and jump in and understand because in my personal opinion vanguard was very very complicated there was like 10 attachments and a lot of the attachments did pretty much the same thing but at the same time they didn't do the same thing so it was kind of confusing people didn't really know what to go ahead and equip on their weapon here in modern warfare 2 you actually do and you can actually see exactly what you're doing by going ahead and sliding you know this dial the wheel and you know making sure that your class setup is for what you're actually trying to go ahead and accomplish your multiplayer whether it be running gunning rushing sitting back 
taking people out at long range you can do literally whatever you want and honestly i think this is a pretty cool system and it, it literally changes the way we go ahead and play the game again i'm all for it let's just hope that knock on wood it isn't vanguard overpowered where you know <laughs> nine of the ten attachments are doing a bunch of things that most people don't know what the hell is going on but overall i think it is going to be a huge step in the right direction so this is the massive day one update for modern warfare 2 a lot of things are changing a lot of things are going to continue to change as the game does come out you best believe i'm going to keep everybody updated and you guys are going to know what happens first on the channel so if you guys know the video make sure you drop a like on the video Subscribe to the channel and turn those post notifications. Thank you guys for 250,000 subscribers. It's been your boy Ears, and I'm going to catch you guys on release night. Deuces.